It happens for a lot of reasons. Maybe it was lousy development or poor execution. Maybe it was never that practical in the first place. Whatever the reason, good ideas don't always become good video games. Part of me wants to say Crush 3D is one of those ideas and one of those games. But on the other hand, part of me doesn't. There are times when Crush 3D amazes, solving its puzzles in four or five or however many dimensions is uniquely rewarding, even ingenious at times, but most times it's, it's a frustrating, convoluted experience too complicated for its own good. Crush 3D is actually the game's second attempt at glory. The original Crush was a critically acclaimed PlayStation Portable release, but it didn't fare quite as well with consumers. In fact, the game kind of tanked at retail, but it's been brought to the Nintendo 3DS with hopes for a second chance. All that really means is Strike 2. You play Crush 3D as Danny, a young boy who has lost his marbles. I guess he's fortunate though, because uh, there's this crazy scientist who teaches him how to how to crush space to collect them. I don't know. I I, I just would have asked for new marbles. So it works like this, Crush 3D is basically a 3D platform puzzler with the marbles scattered among the platforms. You can rotate the camera into fixed viewpoints, uh, which can reveal especially well-hidden marbles or bonus objects, but even then, many are still out of your reach. That's when you, that's when you have to crush this business. Uh, there's, there's really no way to explain this all that well, and uh, you know, frankly the game's tutorial is too boring and long-winded to bother reading, but the idea is you can turn 3D things into these 2D things. So if you're looking at the level from the side, and then you crush it, the layers come together and the entire thing becomes a side-scroller. You can crush from any viewpoint as well, and each perspective gives you unique results. Results you'll have to explore thoroughly to find out how to collect all your marbles, find the exit, and then actually get there. And I guess it's, it's kind of like Super Paper Mario, only with several ways to change your perspective and flatten the level, and it's really ingenious to apply that concept to a puzzle platformer, but again, I mean, it's, it's just too ingenious for its own good. That is to say, your sense of accomplishment from this game is greatly hindered by the headaches that come with it. <laughs> Crush 3D just... It becomes so obtuse that it's not even fun anymore. In fact, it doesn't take much time before the whole affair just kind of devolves into this game of trial and error. I was clueless about how to actually solve the level's puzzle, so I mean, I just I just tried crap until it either worked or I died. And that's it's not much fun. The idea seems so clever, but when you dig into the game it's been turned into, you discover either Crush 3D doesn't capitalize on the concept as well as it should, or it's simply a bit too clever to be enjoyable. Either that or you suck. <laughs> <laughs>